everybody, what is up? Welcome to another Cook With Me. It has been a while, but we have had a lot of requests for um, Emberlyn and I to show you guys how to make our, called like funeral potatoes, but these are the potatoes that we make for everything. We make them for Christmas, we make them for Thanksgiving. Super easy, very minimal ingredients, and very delicious. Like these go so quick and they make the most amazing leftovers if there are any leftovers. Emberlyn is actually off like finishing up getting ready. So while she's doing that, I am actually gonna show you guys because you guys loved before when I showed you what I got from Timu and a lot of it is like kitchen products. So I wanna show you guys real quick what I got on Timu right now. And uh, maybe it'll give you guys some ideas for Christmas and different things because it is a lot more inexpensive. So let me show you that real quick and then we'll jump right into the potato recipe. Okay, so you guys, I'm always needing a lot of different kitchen things, but I never buy them because I feel like, oh, it's too expensive and I would just rather spend my money somewhere else. But you guys, Timu has a bunch of different things like for the kitchen, storage things, stuff like that, that I absolutely need for very, very inexpensive. So you guys, of course, I had to capitalize on grabbing some different bins. So check these out, you guys. I got these bins for different things like flour, sugar, cereal, like really anything. I've gotta go through my pantry and actually figure out which one I'm gonna do. But I got a couple of those and some lids because the lids also go with these little bins that I got. So I got these tall ones, which are gonna come in handy. I got these small ones because I am always needing like different um, plastic bins and stuff for leftovers and different things like that. And I love the lids to these because they're so easy. So you get the lid, boom, and you can just snap it right on. You just go like this, snap it and snap it, boom. So check that out. I absolutely love these and I love that they're see-through because you know what's gonna be in it for leftovers. So I literally got a bunch, guys, because I just need them. And they actually come in handy for like the kids' lunches and dad's lunches and different things like that. So I got all of these. I got all of these, which come obviously with the lids. Some more. So I got all different sizes. So you have, so say you have this size, you have the bigger size, and then you also have this smaller size. So sizes for all. I love it. I actually will probably put my sugar, brown sugar, powdered sugar, stuff like that in here. And then the lids fit on top of all of these. And I love it because they're sealed very nicely. And look, comes with little labels. If I wanted to use these little labels to put on there, I can do that as well. So super inexpensive, you guys. So if you're looking for just like a cheap way to get just your bins and stuff, um, check out Timu. Make sure you download the app. You guys, I'm going to leave a code and all of that. You're going to get a hundred dollar uh, bundle coupon, but so I will put that all in the description, but I also got, I already have some of these, but I needed some more, these little silver mixing bowls. Look at that. Good quality, all different sizes. And I love that they all stack inside of each other, which is just so convenient because my kitchen doesn't have a lot of cupboard space. So it's kind of nice when they can all just kind of stack inside of each other and I don't have to worry about it. So I did get all of those bowls. There's that. And then the other thing I was super excited about and I cannot wait to try is this chopper. This is kind of all over the place right now and finding it on Timu was so exciting because it was a lot less expensive. Um, and it just comes with all the parts and attachments in here. Um, my girls both actually saw this and were like, oh my gosh, I've been wanting these forever because they like to do their chopped salads and different things like that. And we do a lot of chopped veggies. Amberlynn actually has to chop up veggies and stuff for um, our turtle raisin. So this will come in handy for that. So I got those and then I needed some more oven mitts and you know, little uh, hot pads. So I got these, I thought they were cute. These little guys, do, do, do. Because my other ones are honestly, they're so dirty and I've tried to wash them and wash them and um, they just are well loved. So I needed to get some more of those. Then I also got these, which I thought was kind of cool. They're like the reusable like Ziplocs. So let me show you. These come in all different sizes as well. And I thought this would come in handy for really a lot of things that we could just put in the fridge, but also for like Emberlin's lunches. You get this and then just like different sizes. So you got this size, this size, and then one that's a little bit bigger. So I don't know if you guys can tell the size difference on here, but Pretty awesome, you can put all different things, use it for leftovers, stuff like that. So I'm excited to use those, they're reusable. 
And then this I'm actually really excited about because like I said, we do not have a lot of counter space or cupboard space in our kitchen. It's very small. I don't know why they make kitchens so small for these houses, but this is a pot lid holder. My lids are everywhere inside of my cabinet and it takes up so much space. You just kind of put it in here. You can hang this if you need to hang it. And then you just put the lid all through all the lids through here and it kind of just stacks them for you. Huge space saver, which will be so nice because I need it. And then um, it came with like this little pack of screws and stuff in case you do want to hang it, which I could actually like in my pantry, hang this up and just have it in there. And then I don't have to worry about them being all scattered inside my cabinets. So you guys, that is everything I got from Timu. Let me tell you the code. So it for a hundred dollar coupon bundle, you guys just need to go to um, the link that I put down below and the code is DKJ3793. And I'll put that down in the description box down below as well. Timu has everything you guys from kitchen stuff to clothes to um, home furnishing things. So many different things and actually it's going to be a really awesome way for you guys to do some Christmas shopping. So go check it out, upload the app and use our code and let's get to the potatoes. All right, so you guys, we have our potato recipe here. Actually, yes. Emberlyn and I are going to make one at the same time because we're going to make two servings of this. Yes. So what you need for this is basically sour cream, cream of chicken soup, hash browns. Hash browns, you can use the cubed ones or you can use the shredded. Um, I've done both and I like them both ways. These I feel like you have to just cook a little bit longer. And then mild cheddar cheese and butter. Did I say butter? No, you didn't. And then butter. butter. So we are gonna do, first of all, mix the one can of cream of chicken soup with two cups of sour, sour cream. All right, so we got our two cups of sour cream. Yes. Now we can put in our cream of chicken soup. But you guys, I love this recipe because it's so easy. It's basically just like mix all your ingredients together and throw it in a pan. Oh, and this stinks too. Sorry. Yeah, all of the mixture. It smells good once it's all cooked yeah, up. Yeah, and it tastes good too. Yeah, so you guys, I make this, like I said, for literally every occasion. Christmas, Thanksgiving, what, Easter. Easter. Yeah, Easter so. Ever? The kids devour these, and these are our only potatoes we do. They're we don't amazing. we don't do mashed potatoes and gravy. Well, we do potato soup. That technically. Yeah, but like for Thanksgiving, yeah, that's true. we just do these, just these potatoes. We'll do like what potatoes, ham rolls, um, like... Jello pretzel salad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what else do we do? A uh, pie. Oh yeah, pie. We don't really usually do turkey because no one here really, really eats it. So it seems like a waste. And ham is good, so. Yeah, and turkey is very hard to make and I'm not a fan, so. So, win-win. Okay, so we got that all mixed up. All right, so the only other thing you're gonna add to this little mixture is the melted butter. And we're gonna do six tablespoons of that. So we're gonna put that in. And if you wanna do that, Ems, put the six tablespoons in and then you can literally just go like. Half and half. Half and half. Yeah, because yeah. she put the butter in together. So just kind of guesstimate ha pouring half in. And then we are going to do the hash browns in another bowl. So you're literally going to just take it 30 ounces of hash browns and pour it in. And then to this, you're going to just add two cups of cheese. And then once you get this all in, you're going to literally just mix everything all together. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. So just mix in the butter. So we're just doing um, two cups of cheese, maybe a little more. I don't know, I just kind of guesstimate. And then um, I'm just going to mix it all like this with my hands. Hands, I feel like, are the best tool in the kitchen and I'm making a mess everywhere. Makes sense. And then all you do after this is add in the mixture. The mixture. So we could pour that in if you want. So that's that, potatoes. And then Ems is Ooh. gonna pour that all in. Oh, it definitely helps having Emberlyn here to help me cook. She is amazing in the kitchen, always has been. And uh, we usually do like a lot of, like right now we're doing our Thanksgiving prep because I don't like to spend all of Thanksgiving in the kitchen exactly. all day long, even though I probably will be anyway. But you wouldn't have to. Yeah, it'll be less. So I like to do everything kind of the night before as much as I can the night before. So. Just mix this up. This is what it looks like. Let me show you guys. 
So you're gonna just mix everything up, the cheese, the, the butter, the cream of chicken, all of that deliciousness up in one bowl. And you can add salt and pepper to this too if you want. All right, we got Em's over there doing some of the dishes. We got Benny outside whining to come in, but after we're done, he can come in. Um, potatoes in here, I already got one, obviously here in the pan. All you're gonna do here is scoop it all in. So it's basically just throw all the ingredients together, stir it up, and pour it in the pan. So it fits perfectly in a nine by 13 pan, and I just smooth it all out, get it all in here, and then we are not gonna cook this today, but when you guys cook it, cook it at 350 for um, about 40 to 45 minutes. So it does take a little bit just to get the cheese and all that all melted in and nicely delicious. Another thing you guys can do is, and what we normally do, but we don't have the item right now because I forgot, um, is do the corn flakes on top. So basically you take the corn flakes and you mix it in melted butter and then you'll use it as the crust on top. And that's actually really good and really delicious. We only have frosted flakes. I feel like that's gonna give it a two of a sweet of a taste. So I don't really wanna mess with it. And I really don't wanna mess with going to the store the day before Thanksgiving, because I already went this morning, I don't wanna go again. So we are gonna do potatoes without the cornflakes this year, and that's totally fine because they're still good without it. I'm turning the light down so you guys can kind of see. It's kind of hard to see, I think. Um, but it's basically self-explanatory. You just have the potatoes and mixture all in the pan right there. Like I said, put it in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. I will probably cover it with um, aluminum foil and then take it off like the last 10 minutes that it's cooking so it kind of crisps up on top. But these are literally the best potatoes. I love that I can make them ahead. I love that they, they make delicious leftovers and the kids literally will devour these all up. So there you go, you guys, that is the recipe. I hope you guys try it out, hope you like it. Let me know and what, that's it. Yeah. That's it, you guys. Hope you guys all have a happy Thanksgiving, and we will see you guys next time. Don't forget, the code for all the Timu stuff is down in the description box down below. And that is it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, like this, this video, video, and don't forget, choose your day.